Well, good morrow and welcome back to Empire Total War and welcome if you're watching me for the first time. My name's Alex and I'm a bit merry, as in I've had a couple of beers, maybe three. I'm on my third. Anyway, in the previous episode you would have seen me uh, take over Vienna. It's still burning. Vienna is burning. I've made peace with Austria, but only so I can basically move my armies into a position where I can just wipe them out. Also, the Ottoman Empire appear to be wanting to cause some problems for me. And we can't have that now, can we? I always seem to start the episode of where I'm ending a turn, which is, which is slightly annoying. However... That's in the turn! <laughs> I should have a sip of the uh, nice Fosters here. Oh, bugger off, Ottomans. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, there may be burping in this episode. It's not a very good episode to watch. I shouldn't really be recording it when I'm... a bit tipsy. Ah, oh, but a college! Trade agreement cancelled Austria. Workers' riot. Austria. Oh, Jesus. So, I've got a full stack. And they appear to still be rebelling. Well, that's just not on. Okay. Let's have a look at the oh, diplomatic relations here. Ah, uh, Austria are actually hostile now. I don't really blame them. Graz. So we're researching the flying shuttle. Can we search in the socket bayonet? Place the ring bayonet. Ah. Improves map movement speed, gun denting, march thing. I shall have to research that. That next. Pardon me. Minus seven. If they rebel, I'm going to crush them. Do they not realise that I can easily just crush them? And this little shy army here. Right, so... Am I in a position to strike down? Or I'm basically going to lose Vienna in a turn. Bugger it. Where is the Austrian army gone? Well, I'll leave it for another turn. They really were annoying me. So, let's move this army back to the front. Guess I'll just have to repair the building. La, 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 la. I want to take Austria out as quick as I can, just so I can concentrate on other oh, yeah, targets. I'm gonna have to wait for another turn now. Frustrating. That's been damaged. Actually, it's all been damaged in uh I know that was Prague. Okay. Okay. Right, are the British coming to land another army yet? Ah! It appears they may be forming one to board. Right, can I build anything in. No, I cannot. Ah. Need a light infantry doctor in. build any more forces unless Poland and Lithuania decide to clear war on me, then I'm pretty much screwed at the minute. Hopefully, let's have a look at our relations with them. Indifferent. Hmm. Do you have any technology I want? No. Well, I'm not all that fussed. Right. Can't really build much either. Guess I'll just replenish my armies as per usual. They seem to like to take a beating. Ah, this building needs repairing as well. 
So, without further ado... Oh. Do you need roads? Do you need roads? No, no. Do you need roads? No. Do you need roads? Yes. You must have roads, Saxony. All my territories must have roads. Uh, okay. I'll have trade of you to give me money for one turn and then I shall destroy you, Austria. I hold no loyalties towards you whatsoever. As you can tell, for I have destroyed your empire. I'm also talking to a computer. Hanover has been my ally since basically the very start, and they have done nothing. They've done nothing to help me. Nothing at all. Sure, they've gone to war against my enemies. Oh, well, that's just luck. Drill school, Jesus, no wonder I was kicking their bottoms. Right. Ah, that's where all their armies have got to. Uh. Right, Poland, Lithuania, where are you? I'll give you ever there is a moth in my room. I will offer you the carbines. And I will give you a payment of... I'll have to give you all my money. <laughs> How's that? Sugar! Oh, I thought that was Poland, Lithuania. Oh no. Bugger. That sucks. Okay, well I need to take Austria out now. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. I was meant to make peace with Poland Lithuania instead of make peace with the Ottomans and now I'm at war with Oh my god. Oh my god, that is not what I needed. Alright, you can bugger off. Yeah, you would have some men left, wouldn't you? Fudging. Buggery. Okay. So... I guess I'll send these down to deal with... You! Have you not... How, you, how did you not die straight off? I don't understand. Well, I guess it's kind of nice that the Ottomans have made peace so I can concentrate on wiping out these, because I think these are in my victory conditions, so it wasn't a complete balls. Okay, so he wants me to take that, but I need to take most of these. Great. Okay, so... Uh, I will also 
give you five turns of military access and sweet okay that's all I needed I just don't want to be at war with anyone while I'm trying to take out Austria and then I'm also going to try to take out Venice as well while I'm at it because why not and I'm going to attack Genoa while I'm at it as well get some uh, get some of that going right so join you to him do you have any you have some men you can give me Alright. Hmm. So let's do a quick save. I know it's a bit of a cop out doing an auto resolve, um, but whenever I've tried to do a siege battle, it's always ended very, very badly. Last time I tried to do one, it completely basically froze up. So. Yeah. Farewell, Austria. You are a formidable opponent. But you are gone now. I won. How does that feel, Austria? How does that feel? Feels good to me. Okay. But have a look at the old policies here. Oh, um, I'll leave you sweet for now. What's my income going to be next turn? Oh, lovely. That is fantastic. Although I'm going to need to rebuild before I can attack Venice. You can stay there. Right. So, our main threats are going to be... Sorry, I think that was a fly. For some reason, my, my room becomes like a furnace as, I'm, as I've got my computer on and where my where my house where my room is located the sun kind of in the afternoons kind of beats down into my room so it becomes like yeah it becomes a furnace so I have to open my windows when I open windows little midgets get in it's rather annoying anyway I believe all I can do is end the turn because I'm out of money So, yeah. Who the hell do you think you are? I kind of wish I downloaded a mod that disables the forts. But, you know, hopefully I won't have to fight that many with forts. Ah, oh, happy drinker, so am I. Although I kind of have my depressive stages as well. create a fort to stop any kind of sally from Venice going into my territory for now while I replenish my troops and repair buildings so as soon as that army is replenished I will just go into Venice and basically destroy any opposition that comes into my way but it's almost done, hold on Okay, but it's done. <sighs> Who the hell do you think you are? Oh, it's my rake. Austria P 
appears to be just about under control. I'll introduce taxes, because they give me 5,000. <laughs> uh, let's just move. Let's just move you in there then. Hopefully keep them a bit sweet. Da. Aha. My army just do seem to get a battering. I think it's probably because of my unorthodox tactics, if you know what I mean. I have a priest treaty with you. And I will give you the ring bayonet. How's that? <sighs> I don't know why Great Britain declared war on me in the first place back in what was it, episode 5 or 6? Or 7 or 4 or 8 or 3? It just seemed a bit pointless, because the two times they've invaded me, I've repelled it with, with ease. Ah! Hello! Where are you? In Bohemia and Moveria. Oh, look at all the farms I can build. <laughs> But, I must focus on the army first and foremost, and the college. Army, you're being replenished. You must be replenished. Oh my god. I think the... As they become more veteran, the... the uh, become... Hell of a lot more expensive to... Oh. Okay, well that one barely suffered any damage at all. Um, I will build far more farms in more of my homeland, really, because otherwise it's safer, less likely to get attacked. Of course, build a military academy. Twelve hundred wealth. Kind of need all the wealth I need. Uh, need all the wealth I can have. Oh my god, my... I just... jeez. <laughs> right, is anything else burning? No? Okay. Aha! Socket bayonet. Now we're having Caden Margin. Lovely. Cardboard roads. I love roads. Yes I do, yes I do, yes I do. We're out of money. Can't get no peace. Would you like peace? So they demand a trade agreement, common land enclosures, and a single payment of 200. Sweet. I'll have peace with any faction I can. I don't wish to be at war with anyone I don't need to be. Ottomans, why don't we have some trade? Sweet. Portugal? Well, we need to have trade, you and I. Ah, oh, oh, that's just uh, a bit mean. So, the Ottomans seem to like us. No one else does. Oh, France does. France is friendly. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Anyway. I'll end the turn and then we'll go and destroy Venice. Hopefully. I think I'm going to take some forces away from the Vampire Land. Transylvania, sorry. Transylvania. And put them on the border of Poland Lithuania. Aha! No! Don't even know what he did. Oh, he was my army minister. Oh my god. You can go. You are probably the best I'm going to get. Uh, well, let's just move you. Let's just move you. Move. Oh. That sucks. 
sucks. Whoa! Honestly, what the hell is the matter with you workers? Why can't you speak in ten under my rule, huh? Huh? Well... I have to garage and use them more. Jesus. Why can't you just be grateful that you have Austria commanding you? Hmm? Why can't that be enough for you? Well, let's send our cavalry contingent back to Vienna. Let us begin the invasion of Venice. Do they have another... They have another territory, don't they? I'll try and get a piece of them if I can. Venice. What will it take for us to have peace? What would you like? What technologies would you like? Would you like some of these? I thought you might. I pay you, and then you seem to just, you know... Why would I rue this day? I offered you trade. I don't understand. What the hell is the matter with you? Well, I guess it's time to go to war. With Poland and Lithuania. So... Let's send an army to the north. We've got a pretty good garrison down in Transylvania. The Ottomans we're at peace with. I'm not going to build in mine there because that will just get wrecked. Let's build some more farms. Ooh, are. Oh, great. Well, there's no point recruiting men where I don't need to. Alright. They're exiles. Just get a unit of exiles, they can be our um, meat shield. Get some line. Many men will die in the war to come. And ooh, might as well get some hussar. Nine and thirteen, nine and eleven and twelve, seven and twenty-five. So let's get. One of each. Brandenburg. What shall we get in Brandenburg? Dragoon. I'm not really a fan of Dragoons. I can see that they can have their, you know, uses. Ah, well, let's just get an army of a lot. I can't get any more line. Bums. I've run out of money. <laughs> I should do. I have to have a careful look at Poland, Lithuania's. Very well. Poland, Lithuania's defences, uh, allies, etc. They're already at war with Great Britain, which I'm guessing is probably one of their allies, and Russia, which is probably also one of their allies. Courland, um it's a minor threat. The Ottomans. Oh, I don't... Oh, you fucking... Sorry. Should not swell. If you really want a garrison, I'll give you a garrison of friggin' militia. I'm not going to waste any more money than I have to. Oh. So there was no point in making peace with the Barbary States because they've been destroyed. Who have they been destroyed by? Great Britain and Spain. It's just into the uh, <laughs> negotiation table. It's a bit of a kind of an interim episode, so I don't really kind of blame you for not even watching up until this point. As I imagine it's slightly boring not even seeing a battle in the past 15 20 minutes. Would you like, would you like trade now, Venice? Fudge you, 
Poland Lithuania, that's what I need to see. Allies, Russia. This pleases me. Ah, our cavalry force is coming up. Let's move that army up to the north. Move some artillery to support. Shall also send a force of just a navy and just have, they don't have an army down there currently. That's good. Send down some more towards the border. You shall join up. Right, I don't see the point of declaring war until I need to. So you're exempt from tax and you're still unhappy. Why? Foreign occupation, predicted, clamour for reform, people in government, industrialisation, religious unrest, and the government type. You will submit to me, just, to, just as Poland Lithuania will, okay? You can't fight it, so don't even try. So I need to be wary of this army. Bit of a use. Better build a uh, mixture of cavalry. Bums. Mixture of cavalry there. So building such an army is making me extremely poor, but I will need the forces in the battle ahead. Most of them won't be veteran units, so they're kind of expendable. I'll kind of keep my veteran units in reserve when I can. Russia don't have it, they haven't seemed to do anything in this campaign. I think I am the faction that is most kind of expanded. Actually, just before I end the episode. I'm going to try and join up my armies. Oh, you can just bugger off, Austria. This is just ridiculous now. Who the hell do you think you are? You are my subjects. Look, that is the army I have protecting you. I say protecting. So, let's say I unexempt you. Fine. Right. Cavalry, you shall join. Oh. And you may join the army. Shall march. Yeah. Join up. And join up. Not as big as army, but... Oh, just cavalry. That's not good. I need to keep a strong garrison here. And then kind of have a lightning strike down. Ah! Right. I know it's a bit of a cop out, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm gonna fight battles when I am 100% sober, 99% sober. So until then, I bid you good day, farewell.